Hey guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with a compilation video of our last year's Christmas crafts. Each of these crafts will individually have a YouTube video attached to them that we put up last year. But we just wanted to make a short version, so anybody wanting Christmas inspiration or just something to do while you're cleaning your house, but have something to listen to and to enjoy. Please let me know if you have any questions, comment, share, and like this video. Thanks for watching. This first one takes four blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree store. I put scrapbooking paper on all the sides of them and then just added the letters uh, to spell Noel. So it turned out really cute. You can either stand them on top of each other or line them up like they see in the picture. This next video is the one we did with our tear trays. I took a it was one of those Crappuccino bottles that Jenny always drank coffee out of. I'm putting Mod Podge on right now so that I can have it, when it dries, I can paint it white so it'll be good. Here we're taking black um, cardstock paper and making the snowman hat out of it. Of course, I didn't have near the experience last year that I have now so I can know how to make a little bit different hat. But I had to cut a circle out of the middle of it. First I cut a circle, then I had to cut a circle out of the middle of it so it would set over the uh, jar uh, thing so that it would be down low enough that you could put the tear tray together. That's what I'm doing right here. Now I'm on to painting it. I'm just going to give it one or two coats of white paint so it will actually look like a snowman. This jar I'm doing the same exact way. I'm just going to be putting it on a different tear tray which you'll see at the end of this part. This is the platters I'm going to be using, and currently I'm just painting four of the little blocks from the Dollar Tree store, which I'm going to glue onto the bottom of that so that it'll stand just a little bit up off of the well, off of the table. Here we go as I'm putting the snowman's face on and his buttons and his little orange nose. Now for the assembly, I'm gluing down those little blocks to make sure that the bottom is, is good and solid. Then I'm going to take E6000 and put the base on. And then I'm going to take another one of those platters and put it on the top and set it off to dry. Here is the finished look of both of the tear trays that I put together. Hope you enjoy! On to DIY number three. This is the gingerbread house that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree store. I just painted it. Now I'm going to take one of the little block, little crates that you also get from the Dollar Tree store and I'm going to put it together. I have stained it with antique wax so I'm hoping that the glue will stick. And I just put napkins in it. That's what I used for my Christmas coffee table last year.
DIY number four involves me using my Cricut to cut out different um, ornament uh, templates. So I'm I'm not sure exactly. I think I printed out like or cut out like 12 of them all together, and you just see me taking them apart out of the uh, paper. It's interesting to be able to use a cutting machine to do that stuff. I could have never made those circles that. Um, completely round so now I'm going to take each one of them and just fold them in half I think you take maybe eight all together to do this project with you just fold them in half so you get all I would fold all of them to at the same time so that you can put it together real quick um, you just fold it I'm using not a bone folder but I think it's a I'm not sure. A pair of tweezers is what it looks like. So you just put them all together. Just keep folding them till you get them all uh, folded up. And then you'll glue each side together. So I'll let you watch. DIY number five is making our large paper snowflakes. You take, you can use brown paper bags, lunch bags, or the white ones. I just had these in my stash. And since we were making snowflakes, I thought I would use the white ones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it with the flap down on the bottom. Take your hot glue gun and just go around all of the bottom and then right up through the center. And then you just stack them on top of each other. What I did was I stacked them in layers of three because you use nine bags all together and the reason that i did that was because you're going to be cutting your snowflake design out of it and if you put too many of them together at one time then it becomes a little bit more difficult to cut out the design of your choice i just chose to cut out some diamonds so i'm going to let you watch while we put these together
these are really simple and they make really beautiful snowflakes big large snowflakes you can hang in your window or on your door or if you made them out of um, plastic uh, covered paper you could probably hang them on your porch not out in your yard but on your porch Now you can go through and join those three sections together and uh, you, you could do it with wet glue or hot glue. I was just on a time crunch so that's the reason I used the hot glue. If you use the wet glue it just takes a little longer for it to set up. You don't get the instant gratification that you do with the hot glue. But hot glue usually works pretty good on paper. So now you're going to take and lay it back down and you're going to put all of this um, on one side and then pull the one side around to the other side and be sure to put your hand on the inside of the bag um, to uh, put the two pieces of glue together and it is kind of uh, hard to get that accomplished so I had to pull it a little closer to me but once you get them out there and you get them hooked into place, oh, look how pretty. going through the center of it and just put the hanger so that you could be able to hang it in your window. It's too big to show all of in this screen but it really is pretty hanging in the window. Here I am going to follow the similar thing and making another snowflake. This is going to be a medium sized one. I work on taking the paper and I'm cutting it in half at four and a quarter. Although it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, so at four and a quarter, I'm cutting it. And then uh, this is not the best trimmer I have, so you got to overlook it. But then I'm going to cut it in half again at five and a half. So all you need to do is have uh, four sheets of paper that you basically just cut in half two different ways. So let's uh, continue to watch. I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't have a trimmer. I'm just going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. That gives you the same four and a quarter by five and a half uh, piece, piece of paper that's your baseline that you need. So if you do not have a trimmer, don't stress about that. It's really simple to do. That's all you have to do is just fold it in half and then fold it in half again the opposite way. 
and you will have your four and, a, four and a quarter by five and a half sheet of paper. Now we're going to take them and we're going to fold them into thirds. Just fold all the papers into thirds. And I'll be back in a second. Now what you're going to do is take your glue gun and glue those uh, things you just folded together so it's one continuous piece and then fold the, or open up the bottom and put you a little bit of hot glue and seal that one end, not both ends, just the one end. And once you get all those together, then you will again take that um, your scissors and cut you some some kind of snowflake shape. I just use triangles because it was easiest on me, but you can use any snowflake uh, uh, pattern that you would like to use. Cut the ends off in the triangle and then just make your pattern. Next, I found it easier to cut those little parts at the top, that first little section, uh, in order to get it to open up to reach around all the way from one side to the other. And I'm just going to go through and glue each one of these sections together just like we did the paper bag. And then pull it around and, and get it together. So, I'll let you watch that. Once you've got however many you want on there to make it the size that you want, you just do the same thing as you pull them around with the hot glue. That is stiffer than the bag, so it's going to be a little harder. You'll see here in just a second that it popped apart on the other end because I didn't let it set long enough for the hot glue to set up. No big deal. Just go back put you some more hot glue on and then hold it in place just a little longer and it'll be fine.
Now we're on to making the small uh, snowflakes. So if you would do all three of these snowflakes in white, I'll have to do this in purple because that's the only color I have left. But if you do them all in white, you could stagger them in your window and have a really beautiful, beautiful design in your window. So this one is three and a half inches square. That's what size you cut your paper to this time. This one you will take and do the same way, fold it in thirds, glue it together, make your little snowflake design, and then glue that whole thing together. So just keep watching. This one you will fold in half after you get them glued together and then I uh, think you cut your little angles out and uh, put it together. DIY involves the little rounds and the tag of uh, wood pieces that you get from Michaels. The first set I'm going to put these stickers on <clears throat> to make them look like regular tags. Or you could use them for ornaments because um, they are, they do have a hole that you could put the ornament 
hanger in. But right now I'm just going to go through and decorate all of them up front and back with the cute little stickers that I, I think. Here I'm showing you some stencils that I picked up at uh, off of Amazon that I use to do my next projects with. I'll take them wood rounds and put some of these little stencils on them. And now I also put some on the little wooden tags. This this is uh, the same tags that I use with stickers on. I just stenciled these up. ornaments I just use the same tags but this time I put scramble letters on them spelling the word Noel, joy, snow, and love. So they they make cute little ornaments as well. This next DIY are the wooden circle ornaments that I painted. Some of them, I think some of them were white and some of them were antique wax. And I took the same stencils and I took just some regular acrylic paint and those stencils and I just stenciled on different scenes. Santa Claus scenes, fireplace, whatever I had the stencil on that I thought was going to be cute on there, I stenciled it on. Okay, these next set of ornaments are um, just little paper ornaments that I glued back to back. I cut them also out on the Cricut. And half of them I did a uh, name of a Christmas song. I just put it on it. And the other half I did actual Bible verses concerning uh, the birth of Jesus on them. So they turned out really, really, really pretty. And I... Uh, laminated each and every one of them so that they stay good for years to come.
this next couple of DIYs were the most time consuming but the most fun. I just took some polyacrylic and one of those, this one's a, like a light bulb shaped one, but I just took the top off of it, put some polyacrylic down in it, swished it around, and then I put uh, glitter in it. Different color glitters for different ones. And then I took some gems and put around the outside of them. And some of them I just had the flat ones and I, after I got the glitter on the inside, I put the letters of my grandkids on there. So I'm going to let you watch it.
Next up is Amanda Craft. She went into her, she seen this inspiration on Pinterest and she went into her woodworking shop. She found her some wood and she cut her down some triangle shaped pieces of wood that would then eventually turn into a tree. She's very good at that kind of stuff. When she is determined, she, yeah, she can handle it. Now me, I'm still a little bit too nervous, but one day I will be able to cut some wood down. So there you go, they're just making different sizes, big ones and small ones, and uh, putting little trunks on them. So she's going to glue them all together and bring them to us, and then we're going to decorate them. So on the day that she brought them over, she took one, I took one, and Hannah took one. I painted mine in the color Waverly White. I believe that is antique wax and a blue. I'm not sure if that was Caribbean blue by Apple Barrel or if that is um, like Peacock from Waverly. I'm not sure which one of it I used. It's been a long time ago, guys. December, it'll be two years since we did these. So, yeah, we've been at this for two years. So, I'm going to let you watch us paint, and then we'll showcase all three, pick, all three trees at the end of it.
how my fine, on final thing turned out. And I just stuck a little Merry Christmas right in the middle for just for little decorations. Up next will be Mandy's. She had she painted hers green, took my one of my little stamps that we'll show you in a second, that looked resembles garland or lights or something on the tree, and added in a uh, little burlap flowers. And that turned out really pretty also. Just different variations of the same trees that she cut out. And we just painted them different colors and, and designed them different. And then here comes Hanny's. She had the smallest of the trees and she did an absolutely adorable job painting it. And she used some of that face filler for her little decorations on it. So there you go. Wonderful little trees. Next one up I thought was a really cute idea. I took um, five little of those little wood browns that I had. These are a little thicker than what I had before and four little uh, or five little rectangles. I painted the circles red and of course you can see me painting the little rectangles green. This was a cigar box that my brother gave me and it opens in the middle. So I thought what better way to design a tic-tac-toe board because it's just about the right size. So I'm going to take and paint the whole thing white on the outside. The inside of one side is going to be painted red. The other side, I put scrapbook paper on it. So I'm going to let you watch me do that. Now that it's all painted and dry, I took two pieces of green felt and cut them down to fit into the center of that thing because I wanted a little backdrop for my, uh, I took the wood browns and put a little uh, gingerbread man on it. And then I took the little rectangles and painted little peppermints on them. So I thought those would be perfect for setting inside there. Uh, I'm just basically uh, fitting them to make sure that they will all fit in there and the doors will still shut so there you go now I have to take this out because I did not glue down the green felt and I don't want it to come out if it happens to fall over so now I've got it all done and I'm going to work out the uh, grid in proportion to those uh, things that I did to make the uh, grid for the tic-tac-toe board. First I tried with this um, painter's tape to make a little teeny tiny line between uh, putting the two pieces of tape on there. Well that worked. That gave me the basics. But I guess I didn't have them spaced far enough apart from each other. So you'll see that the one line I have to touch up on. It. And then I turn it over and I'll let you watch what I what I write on the front of the box and then fill it up.
DIY number 14 is relatively easy. All you need is a package of clothespins that have the spring form in the middle of it and some glue. You can decorate them how you like to after you get them done, but you simply take, take them, pop them apart, take that spring off. I'm still yet trying to find something to do with those little springs, but I'll figure it out someday. And then you're going to take some glue and put the two flat sides together and let them dry. You can take a uh, another that you haven't taken the spring out of and hold them together while the glue dries. That's just the easiest way to do it. Try to match up the little holes for the holes so that your snowflake will look good. <coughs> um, it takes a little bit of time to get them to uh, set up, but once they do, with the wood glue, because do not use hot glue, hot glue will not hold them together. So let's just let this finish out. Once they've dried, you're going to take them, take the clips off of them and put them the narrow end together in the center. And that way you will be gluing them all together. Now for this, I did use hot glue because it did seem to hold them together pretty good. Um, just like opposite ends, like you're going to cut a, a cake or a pie or something into e individual ends. You'll put north, south, east, and west. Then you'll go in between each one of those and put you in another one. And then that way you will have your snowflake. <clears throat> you can paint it whatever color. You, uh, I painted mine all white, but then I made some little ones out of some little clothespins and painted them uh, blue with some glitter on it. I put some white glitter on these and then I stacked them all together and made me some pretty snowflakes. This next DIY was one that was requested. My uh, daughter, who lives in Kentucky, asked me if I could do anything with cork. And so I, I tried to figure out something to do. I watched several videos, um, but I did not hear until after I had got these done that the easiest way to cut them is to get them wet first. And then they cut without uh, chunking apart. So I just cut it in half, put one half on the top, of his head and one on the top of his little hat. The little black part of the hat is a black button from in my stash. And then I'm going to put it all together and paint the top of the hat, finish painting it black, and paint the body white, put a snow band's face on it, and um, some buttons.
next up in similar fashion is a Christmas tree made out of quartz. I cut several of them in half, glued them together, glued three for the bottom, two for the middle, and then glued one on the very top and one on the very bottom for the trunk. And then I painted it all green. DIY number 17 is uh, made from three uh, pieces of wood that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I just took all the paper off of it and now I'm going to paint it with red and then put some uh, scrapbooking paper on it. I've seen this done on a YouTube video and I liked this well and I said well I've got these things that I can't really do anything because all they did was have letters somebody's letter for their name on it and uh, but none of ours so I thought well I'll use these to make me a little stand-up thing with the word joy on it that I can put on my tear tray so I did the two outsides in the same color and the inside I did in that little buffalo plaid that's right there because I thought that would be a good contrast between um, you know, having them all the same color or whatever. So I'm gonna let you watch me put them together.
same night that we did the previous ornament, we also did these little wood plank ornaments. We had bought these at Michael's, I think. I won't swear to it. Somewhere we bought them <clears throat> to take to the beach with us. We was going to do some kind of uh, thing uh, beach related. Well, we didn't get them down there. We forgot them at home. So we decided we would make some Christmas ornaments. And again, me, Mandy, and Hannah are all going to make different projects. I'm going to start out with um, trying to make a snow scene. I have a little word saying, like, over the hills, through the woods, to grandmother's house we go, or something similar to that. So I wanted to make a, <clears throat> by tire my hand at painting. So I'm going to let you watch to see how good I did. Comment below to let me know whether you think I did a good job or I didn't do a good job and how I could improve. Remember, this is the first time doing this, and I guess you could say a little bit of mixed media. I've got paint and ink on the same thing. Next up is a Let It Snow cutout from the Dollar Tree. I just simply took some white Waverly paint and painted the word snow and some blue. I'm thinking it is something paradise blue. It was the color I was using that year. It's in a little old tub instead of a bottle. So. But it turned out to be a really pretty blue. It's perfect winter color. So.
next one, I again try my hand at painting. I am attempting to paint the stripes on a peppermint can on this red charger plate. And it does pretty good. I think the end, of, end result turns out really pretty. And I put uh, peppermint kisses and gingerbread wishes on it when I'm done. This next DIY, I took tumbling power blocks and I put them together in sections of, I think it was six, five, wait a minute, I gotta count them. It was nine, seven, five, three, and then one on the top. That was for one, for the main part of it. Then the two side pieces that I put on, I started out with four, three, two, and one so that when you put them together and I'll show you me putting them together here in a minute that it turns out like a tree
here I'm just taking three sets of tumbling tower blocks and putting them together, uh, standing on top of each other, two and two. And that way I can make a little base for my tree so it can stand up off the, the ground. And there we go. The three different size trees I made. I painted them, I think I painted them red and white to mask the peppermint theme. Um, but that's how it is and you can paint them whatever color you want. Okay, this is our last DIY for this video. What I had was a set of metal ornaments with little glass um, particles that you could put in individual little spots in those metal frames. And you put them in the oven and you bake them. Well, we're sitting here just putting in the different colored little tiny pieces of glass. You have to make sure you put them in the right spots because if they get put into the spots that's not supposed to have them they're still and put in the oven they're still going to melt into those spots so as we continue to go through making all of them just enjoy um i'm not sure where you can find them at now this was part of a i think i got them at a yard sale one time and we just took forever to get them done but we decided we'd do them last year so i hope you enjoy watching as we go through the steps. guys if you've made it this far in the video i'm telling you you are amazing we really truly appreciate all each and every time that you watch our video um we love sharing them with you this was a compilation of all the things that we've done last year for christmas so if you want to see the full videos they are available on our youtube site 
Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.